traded wine? Oh gosh. Um, because there's so much expectation on it, and my coach and husband and I are working so hard, and the emotion is don't screw it up. I mean, you can see what happens. You know, don't take four, don't make, miss the qualifying. You got to make the finals, place top three, and I know all the pressure involved, and that is just pressure. I can't describe it. It's just pressure. Is it? Is, is it pressure being a defending champion? It's pressure. I mean, now I can go in there and I can think about defending, but you can't think about defending until you're on the team. So, you know, that's that's what I'm talking about. It's not so much going to the Olympics. I've already won the goal. It's getting there again. That's the hard part. Are you, are Thank you. you. Appreciate it. Andy, how long ago was the wrist? Is there a break or a fracture? It was a hairline fracture on my ulna. And how long ago was that? Um, ab uh, about seven weeks now. Yeah. How many full jumps had you really taken, or full sessions had you really done? I had two practice sessions from full approach and then prelims. So I count that as three practice sessions of full, from full approach before today. So um, I, I felt really confident after prelims, but even today I was um, kind of I was struggling in uh, warm ups and at my first couple of bars. But then after I got that adrenaline going, uh, it masked any pain I was feeling in the wrist, <laughs> and then um, just brought it down the runway as hard as I could and, and hit the jump. And um, that's what I've learned is you have to stop overthinking everything. Just bring fire down the runway, and the vault will probably be. Good. Stop overthinking and bring fire down the room. Yes. <laughs> That's a nice